Can you fathom it? Envision a cosmic occurrence so immense that it casts shadows on Earth even during daylight. That's what might occur soon. Betelgeuse, a star in the Orion constellation, is exhibiting unusual behavior, indicating it may explode into a supernova, illuminating our sky like never before. But when will it transpire, and what will it resemble? According to scientists, what insights might this event disclose? Let's delve into the realities surrounding Betelgeuse and how it could impact Earth and the entire solar system. Betelgeuse, located approximately 650 light-years away in Orion, is not just any star. It's a red supergiant, incredibly luminous, over 100,000 times more radiant than our sun. But why does it hold significance? Betelgeuse is noteworthy not only for its brilliance, but also for its importance in human culture. Named after the Arabic Yad al-Ha, meaning the hand of Orion, it has been observed for centuries, guiding travelers and enchanting stargazers with its reddish hue. Imagine a star so colossal it could encompass our solar system. Betelgeuse, at 10 million years old, is much younger than our sun. Hashtag, 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 the anatomy of a supernova. The immense size of Betelgeuse causes it to deplete its fuel more quickly, leading to a shorter lifespan. Now approaching the end of its existence, Betelgeuse is poised for a spectacular finale. A supernova explosion, releasing unfathomable energy and brilliance. The last time Earth witnessed such an event was in 1604 with the Kepler supernova, visible even during daylight for weeks. Supernovae like Betelgeuse are rare occurrences, but their remnants provide valuable knowledge about the life cycles of massive stars. Betelgeuse's recent actions have astronomers buzzing. Between October 2019 and early 2023, it experienced significant dimming, capturing the attention of astronomers globally. Although it seemed to return to its normal state by April 2023, subsequent months saw its brightness surge by 50%, igniting discussions about its future. Could we be on the verge of witnessing one of the universe's most dramatic events? Betelgeuse's unpredictable behavior suggests we might be closer than we realize to experiencing its breathtaking explosion. Stay tuned as scientists continue to observe Betelgeuse, unraveling the enigmas of our cosmic neighborhood. But why the sudden fluctuation in brightness? Why did Betelgeuse, one of the most recognized stars in our night sky, suddenly throw a celestial curveball? Stars are not just twinkling points in our night sky. They are dynamic entities with life cycles, activities, and mysteries of their own. For many celestial bodies, periodic brightness variations can be anticipated, much like the rhythms of Earth's seasons. In its stellar lifetime, Betelgeuse follows a fairly consistent 400-day luminosity cycle. However, with the great dimming, it seemed to defy its known nature, challenging our comprehension of the celestial wonders above. Now, you might be asking, are we on the brink of a stellar revelation? While the exact reasons for Betelgeuse's irregularities are still under scrutiny, a compelling theory has emerged. This theory, centered around stellar activity and mass ejection, proposes an enticing scenario. Imagine Betelgeuse as a gigantic celestial volcano, suddenly erupting and expelling a colossal amount of its matter into space. Past observations from the Hubble Space Telescope revealed that Betelgeuse has previously ejected an enormous amount of its surface material into the cosmos. This ejection, a massive event, was 400 billion times the mass typically released during similar solar phenomena, equivalent to several times the mass of our moon. Such events can lead to the formation of a dense dust cloud around the star, impacting its apparent brightness and making it temporarily more difficult to observe. Once this dust began to dissipate or was pushed away by the force of the star's radiation pressure, the veil lifted. This could explain its subsequent return to normal brightness levels. Either way, these recent occurrences hint at a star that's not finished with its surprises. Many speculate that Betelgeuse might be nearing the twilight of its existence. A supernova is a cataclysmic explosion an astounding burst of energy that can momentarily outshine an entire galaxy. This phenomenon occurs when there is a sudden change in the star's core. Such changes can arise if a star absorbs too much matter from a neighboring star or, in Betelgeuse's case, it could be from the depletion of its nuclear fuel which causes its mass to collapse into the core, setting the stage for a cataclysmic collapse. 
But what drives a massive star like Betelgeuse to its demise? Born from the gravitational collapse of gas within molecular clouds, stars like Betelgeuse commence their journey by burning hydrogen in their core. This initial phase, known as the main sequence stage, lasts for millions of years and forms the foundation of a star's life. However, as stars exhaust their hydrogen, they evolve, embracing new energy sources. In the case of Betelgeuse, as the hydrogen diminishes, it begins to burn helium, leading to the formation of carbon and oxygen. This transition from the main sequence phase to the helium burning phase is marked by the star's expansion into a red giant. As time passes, as helium reserves dwindle, the star undergoes further expansion and shifts into other burning phases, each characterized by the fusion of progressively heavier elements. The larger the star, the faster these transitions occur, given the immense gravitational pressures at play. Then comes the climax, when iron begins forming at the core. Unlike lighter elements, iron doesn't release energy when fused, so the energy produced isn't sufficient to resist the star's own crushing gravity. The star swells inward and creates an implosion, followed by a massive rebound effect, resulting in the explosive force of a supernova. So, is Betelgeuse on the verge of an explosive conclusion, or merely biding its time? Recent research by Japan's Tohoku University suggests that the star might be in its carbon-burning phase currently. Lead researcher Hao believes that the core might collapse a few decades after its carbon reserves are depleted. However, not all scientists concur. Contrasting studies from Hungary's Konkali Observatory speculate that Betelgeuse is still in the earlier helium-burning stage. The one thing that scientists do agree on, regardless of these debates, is that Betelgeuse is destined to become the Milky Way's next supernova. Yet pinpointing the timing of this event remains a cosmic guessing game, with estimates ranging from mere decades to 100,000 years. Amidst these scientific discussions and speculations about Betelgeuse's fate, one fact remains unchallenged, the very nature of our observation. When we gaze up at the starry expanse, there's a subtle paradox we often overlook. This paradox is rooted in the very nature of time and light in our vast cosmos. Stars and celestial bodies are so distant that their light takes a monumental amount of time to reach our eyes. For instance, the speed of light, while being an astounding 186,282 miles per second, still has its limitations. Consequently, the light from remote stars and galaxies takes its time to traverse the vastness of space before it reaches us. Gazing at Betelgeuse, you're actually witnessing a spectacle from 650 years in the past. To put that in perspective, when this very light began its journey toward Earth, the Renaissance was just beginning, and explorers like Marco Polo were leaving their mark in history. Every observation we make of Betelgeuse is akin to looking through a cosmic time capsule, granting us insights into its distant past. If, for argument's sake, Betelgeuse had already exploded in a magnificent supernova, we'd remain unaware for another 650 years. So, while we discuss and predict its impending supernova, somewhere in the vast cosmos, this monumental event might have already unfolded. We're just waiting for it to traverse space and time until it reaches our eager telescopes. The recent disclosures regarding Betelgeuse have sparked passionate discussions within the astronomical community, drawing parallels to another striking discovery from earlier this year, SN 2023X. This newly observed supernova, occurring in a galaxy adjacent to the Milky Way, evokes memories of the intriguing dynamics and unpredictable nature of the cosmos. SN 2023X was distinctive in its own right. Located several million light years away, it exhibited a brilliant spectacle that briefly outshone its host galaxy. What made it especially captivating to scientists and casual viewers alike was its eerie similarity to what many anticipate will be the destiny of Betelgeuse. The spectrum, intensity, and consequences of the explosion provided a tantalizing insight into the processes that these enormous stars experience as they near the end of their lifespans. For many, SN 2023X acted as a preview of what to expect if and when Betelgeuse meets its explosive demise. The connection between these two cosmic events highlights a broader theme concerning the interrelation of our universe. Whether it's a nearby star like Betelgeuse or a remote supernova like SN 2023X, these astronomical occurrences remind us of the dynamic and evolving nature of space. 
the field of space exploration is brimming with uncharted regions and unsolved enigmas, particularly evident in our comprehension of red supergiants like Betelgeuse. As brilliant as they are mysterious, these celestial behemoths hide some of the universe's most profound truths. At a basic level, the life cycle of red supergiants, although mapped, is marked by uncertainties. While we understand that these stars develop from the main sequence phase to their majestic supergiant form, the intermediate stages are less well-defined. These phases, which may involve tumultuous disturbances in the star's core and surrounding areas, unfold over timescales spanning millions of years. Observations suggest that red supergiants like Betelgeuse undergo significant transformations during this time frame, leading to extensive inquiry and debate. Furthermore, these stars are known to expel vast quantities of material during their later life stages. The mechanisms behind this mass loss, its rate, and the triggers for these outbursts remain largely unresolved. Betelgeuse's recent variations only heighten this ambiguity. Hashtag, 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 what could the consequences of a Betelgeuse supernova be? Within this cosmic narrative lies an imminent event of extraordinary magnitude. Dr. Staney from Western University proposes that when Betelgeuse ultimately detonates, it will briefly become one of the brightest objects in our sky, overshadowing all other stars and potentially some planets. For perspective, even at its considerable distance of 650 light years, its luminosity could rival or surpass that of the moon. Nighttime could transform into a pseudo day for weeks or even months. This stunning display would endure for weeks forever altering our perception of the constellation Orion. The following months would witness a gradual dimming of this brightness, and after decades, an outer shell of the once vibrant star would emerge as a planetary nebula, encircling the faint remnant of its core. Astronomers and astrophysicists worldwide are assessing the potential impacts of such a spectacle on Earth. Speculation exists that an explosion could unleash cosmic rays, high-energy particles racing through space at nearly light speeds. These particles could collide with interstellar material, ionizing it and leaving a trail of charged particles. As these cosmic rays approach Earth, they may interact with our magnetosphere, resulting in spectacular auroras. But does this imply serious consequences are likely for Earth? Fortunately, Betelgeuse is far enough away that these rays would likely be diminished and absorbed by our atmosphere ensuring minimal effects on our planet's biosphere. While the explosion itself won't pose a direct threat to Earth, the cosmic light display will undoubtedly ignite discussions, research, and perhaps even concerns. Beyond the tangible and scientific ramifications, the explosion would profoundly influence human culture. The sky, observed and revered for millennia, would undergo a transformation. This change could inspire reflections on impermanence, the vast scales of cosmic time, and our place in the universe. Such celestial wonders remind us of the fleeting nature of existence and our ongoing quest to understand the vast unknown. As we contemplate the looming possibility of Betelgeuse's supernova, it's crucial to grasp not only the event itself but also its wider implications for astrophysics and our understanding of the cosmos. Supernovae serve as cosmic laboratories, allowing scientists to investigate the mechanisms governing stellar evolution and the formation of heavy elements. When Betelgeuse ultimately explodes, it will expel a variety of elements, including carbon, oxygen, and iron, into the surrounding space. These materials are essential for the formation of new stars, planets, and even life itself. In the grand scheme of cosmic evolution, such explosions play a vital role in enriching the interstellar medium, providing the fundamental components for future generations of stars and planetary systems. The remnants of a supernova, known as a supernova remnant, generate shockwaves that compress surrounding gas and dust, facilitating the birth of new stars. This cyclical nature of stellar life, birth, death, and rebirth, highlights the interconnectedness of all cosmic entities. Moreover, Betelgeuse's expected explosion could deepen our understanding of gravitational waves. As massive stars collapse, they can emit ripples in space-time that traverse the universe. These gravitational waves, first detected in 2015, offer a new way to observe cosmic events. A nearby supernova like Betelgeuse would provide a unique opportunity to study these phenomena, 
allowing scientists to refine their models of stellar evolution and gravitational wave propagation. Additionally, the cultural and philosophical implications of such an event cannot be overlooked. A bright, visible supernova will likely reignite humanity's fascination with the cosmos, prompting inquiries about our role within it. Art, literature, and science could experience a renaissance inspired by the awe and wonder of such a display. Furthermore, witnessing the event might stimulate public interest in astronomy and space exploration. Educational institutions could leverage the excitement surrounding Betelgeuse to inspire the next generation of astronomers and scientists, fostering a deeper appreciation for the mysteries of the universe. In conclusion, the potential explosion of Betelgeuse is not merely a scientific curiosity. It is an event that could reshape our understanding of the cosmos and reinvigorate our collective imagination.